part two of my collection only because some tosser decided to ring me and the phone was knocked off video. I like these little Suzuki Roadie 50s, CS 50s. I had one, one of my first bikes when I was 14, 15. Thrashed the hell out of it and just basically wrecked it. But the fact of the matter is it just kept going and going and going. And I, I respect the little thing for that. The bike's gone, but uh, I want a few for my collection. This is a, an A registered. Um, bought it off eBay like most of my bikes and uh, done the work needed, pay, take the engine off and some front suspension, strip it down, paint it, refurb the wheels, go over the the paint. Lovely little bike, low mileage, hardly done anything. Well, I've done a few miles on it, it's a pleasure to ride, it ain't going to go terribly quick but it's just uh, it's cool and retro, which is what it's all about buy as many parts off ebay as I can for these um, a little blue CS50 and X-Reg I uh, travelled to Norwich to pick this up off some Polish chap didn't understand a word he was saying paid a lot of money for it he, you know, he went and listed it saying it was immaculate and it was far from it, the exhaust was hanging off so I gave him a little lass but um, bought it back, stripped it and uh, done a mild restoration and now it's you know as good as it's going to get uh, I don't think you'd find one better which is the, well, my intention this is the same as the first rodeo I had when I was well, going back uh, nearly 15 years ago and I never mutilated it and killed it but that was before I knew this was and still is my first bike that I purchased when I was 14 off my neighbour Suzuki, uh, not Suzuki, Honda PF50, it's the graduate with a solid back end um, purchased this off my neighbour, like £25 I gave her and it was a bit of a wreck because she'd gone on to a Honda Vision but uh, I thought cool, and of course first thing I did took everything off it and plastered it in hammerite with a brush and I thought yeah it was cool, but uh, far from it but anyway it didn't never really got used i rode it on the road a few times shouldn't really have because i was only 15 but there's things you do when you're younger and uh, then it got left to rot and it uh, it sat and some kids got hold of it got it going wrecked it knackered all the cables um and then just left it um i forgot about it uh, well i never completely forgot but i just didn't bother with it and then uh four or five years ago when I got my unit, went down and rescued it, I stripped it down and uh, I've, I've gave it a bit of a restoration, managed to get some parts, exhaust and so on, painted it in uh, two pack Ferrari, Rosso Red, the remainder of the paint I didn't use on that CS80. Uh, 1968 Rally Wisp, just because it's a Rally Wisp, it's cool. Um, I brought a few of these and they were all completely rotted, tin worm, oh, but this was the best one. I paid too much money for it, a few, 300 quid or something, but then again, you don't see many about. Stripped it down and painted it in gold sovereign Jaguar paint, lacquered, and it isn't genuine, but a genuine paint colour, but it's cool. Runs nice, doesn't go quick, 26 mile an hour top speed, but... They're worth something now. I'll, I'll hold on to that. That isn't going to go anywhere. Got a white Suzuki CS125 roadie. Uh, I went down to Reading to get this off eBay. It's a bit of a state. Uh, the fact is, three a couple of years ago, I uh, did three bikes at the same time. I took three Suzuki CS125, just completely stripped them into three piles. And then went about the nitromores and the wire brush attachment, and uh, you know got to work. It took me a good, good three, four months to build the three bikes, but I did it in the end, and, and uh, yeah, I got them now. This is the nicest. It's a B registered model, uh, as you can see. I've even done the wheels. I've done all the suspension. You know, completely stripped. All the panel work's been cleaned up and repaired. This is reasonably low mileage. I like these CS125s just because they're so terrible to ride. You've got um, an automatic bike engine, but it's gears as opposed to a belt, so you feel it change gear. 
tries to throw you off sometimes. It's cool. Uh, the other two I did at the same time. Uh, this model here has got all the racks and all the attachments. I haven't quite finished it. I'm trying to sort out a, a seat. Uh, what colour is this? It's a Toyota blue. I wanted a nice dark blue. This is a little bit too dark, but when the light shines on it, it's quite nice. But it's got the racks and the bits, and I've got a, like a pillion seat to go on, possibly, and a nicer top box. Uh, it was originally white. Purchased it off a chap in Hereford who basically ran it into the ground and obviously took it and gave it a restoration. Um, bike number three was a Y registered. I drove to uh, once again Norwich area to pick this one up many years ago and it just sat doing nothing because it was so terrible. It was white. Uh, I tried a bit of a, a different thing with the colour. This is um, a purple lacquer sprayed over a silver base coat and then uh, yeah, it's a bit tricky I haven't tried anything like that before because um, you're painting a panel at a time normally and I haven't got that much space to hang them all up and of course the more li layers of paint you put down the lacquer, the purple lacquer uh, the darker it is so luckily it didn't look too bad a few runs and so on but I've learned a few lessons from doing that but it's a nice colour everybody comments on it and when the sun shines on it, it, it really is a juicy purple colour. This is a, a nice bike. This has got a bit of a custom exhaust system. Not the normal CS 125, which is obsolete. I think I had the last one from Suzuki. It's a battered Honda NS 125F. Just off, off eBay, absolutely knackered on an e plate. I paid 100 quid for it, and to be honest, it's worth it in parts. Top end's knackered, but um, I want to use the frame to do another project. But uh, at the end of the day, that little cover there is probably worth 100 quid to the right person. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, NS125F, they did two color schemes in the UK the, the blue, red, white. And then they did a grey. Not many of these still about. I purchased this many years ago and I haven't got around to doing anything with it. It's the full power model, which is nice, with the ATAC. So it's got the power valve. So uh, much nicer to ride. A bit more forgiving. Uh, and a slightly cleaner power delivery. Clocks in KMs because it's obviously an import. But um, it's got all the right right parts in the right places and I'll get round to doing it at some point um, suspect top end so put a new piston on and give it a good go on anyway AR125 never really been into the ARs never owned a 50 or an 80 but um, this was down at my local breakers scrap all smashed up um, so I decided to take it on pulled it out and, uh, and stripped it got on to the plastics repair and the tank had a massive dent in it and the front cowling was all smashed up it's a H plate, one of the last of the Kawasaki's and I put it back to original including indicators um, I had to mess about with the engines I believe it was probably scrapped in the first place because the engine was shot I could never get the thing to run so um, I bought another engine off eBay fitted it in, runs nicely it's got uh, a standard exhaust system on, but I've got a micron to make it go a bit quicker if I want. A G plate, Honda NS125F. Uh, which one is this one? Oh, I can remember picking it up, but I can't remember where I got it from. This has got some nice little extras. I like the blue, red, white colour scheme. This one's quite tidy. It's got these uh, lower fairing covers, which are something you don't see too often both sides which is nice makes it a bit different and also the fork leg covers which you don't really see it's aged but um, it's a tidy bike I'll get it up and uh, run in maybe put a nice exhaust on it it's got a standard system but that's a 12 brake horsepower it doesn't got the uh, power valve which I thought it might have because it looks like an import so, um, this is 
an A registered Honda MBX80. <laughs> Travelled a long way to get their spike. It was um, very North Wales in the ad on eBay. Quoted in very good condition. Good runner. <laughs> far, far from it. I would class it as an absolute basket case. Just about had it running. But once again, suspect top end. But horrible paint job by somebody. Twin discs don't work. Wires everywhere. Switches that shouldn't be there. But um, you don't see many of these MBX80s, so I have to grab them when I can and get on with it. This was a nice little project, very rare, down to Bristol to get this in my little super carry. Had to obviously split it into three pieces to get it in the super carry, but we got it. Got some photos to prove. Suzuki CS125, uh, it's an A registered, yeah. But it's a one off with a Squire sidecar, and somebody's gone to the bother of making all the brackets for the sidecar and so on. It was fun. I obviously took it all apart and restored it, um, including the bike, wheels, suspension, and so on, giving it, giving it a good going over. Uh, I think the, the new exhaust went onto this bike. Uh, it's fun. It's a, it's a one only thing. It's not amazingly quick. These bikes were never quick as they were, let alone with something strapped to the side of it. But good fun. The sidecar's in good condition. It's got a nice leather seat in there, and it's like carpeted out, and the the roof is removable. It's been stuck away at the back of my unit for many years. I did it, haven't used it. Just the way. You know, if some somebody wanted to use it for marketing or so on, I'd be happy to get it out there and people to see it. So a little bit weird. Weird and wonderful. Oh, this is a, a, a nineteen eighty Honda M B five. The uh chassis number quotes number eight. So uh I presume very early in the production. I've stripped it and uh, restored it, put it all back together. It's got a nice headlamp cowling which normally goes missing, smashed up and so on, obliterated. I've got the bike with the original 50cc engine but I've chosen not to put it back on because uh, they're pretty lame. This actually had the H100 conversion. It says on the H100 engine and in fact the serial number is number one on that engine. So once again, I presume that's one of the first conversions done with the H100 exhaust. I've had to mess about with the car, jet it up, but it's nice. The wheels set it off lovely when it's going along. The fact the uh, the rims are actually polished, chrome. It looks great. Very rare, worth something now. Um, didn't pay much for it, but I've done a lot of work to it. Um, this is um. Honda NS125F import. This is a bit rarer than the other NS125s I have. This has the power valve, full power engine, ATAC. It's also got a um, very different exhaust. Sounds a bit strange. Little, maybe a little too loud, but the bike's a bit different, so it deserves to be heard. Uh, I'm stripped down and tied it up by myself. I've done a fair bit of painting. The G plate, it's 1991. Different colour scheme, which is nice. And it's got the uh, the lower fairing below the tank, which is quite cool. Um, but a nice one for the collection. Uh, one of two M Honda MVX 250s. Uh, very rare. The other one's in the workshop, and I've been working on it, trying to get it all up and running, but parts availability is nil in the UK so I'm struggling to get bits. This is a basket case, I've paid a lot of money for it but uh, I intend on trying to get it going and tied it up but there are parts missing and parts I can't get so I might be a bit fucked there. It's a G plate but it was originally an 80s um, but um, with it being imported somebody messed about with the paperwork 
three exhaust V3, got one uh, cylinder on the top, 90 degree, and then down you've got two cylinders facing facing forward. Sounds fantastic, very abusive, lots of smoke. That's what I like. That's what a bike should be, abusive and horrible. So we'll get round to it. This is just brought on a whim. I don't know why I've got it. Suzuki RG250. Just because I like the rapid 250s, I've got a KR1 that I've restored at home. But um, it's a nice little, nice little bike. Sony's only done a crazy paint scheme on it. Done nicely. Doesn't look very nice though. With skulls on it. Cool. It's an F reg. Probably plan to sell it at some point. But um, it's one of these you know, two-stroke screamer 250s. So. I'll probably take it out and try and scare myself a few times before I get shot at it. I've got a few um, Honda VT 250s, a black one and a white one. This is uh, unrestored, standard, on a Y plate, 83 or so, 82. Um, it's been stood for many, many years, but saving graces all the panels are nice the tanks good so it's worth getting going so i will i like the the, the older bikes with the twin exhaust in fact i like all bikes with twin exhaust once again abusive and so very different Three Honda NC50 Express wind-ups. Well, I've got four, in fact. A um, couple of them run. Good fun to ride. Got another CS80 that I purchased a couple of years ago. They did the three colours, obviously: a red, a white, and a blue. I've got the red and the white outside, so this one will be blue once I get round to it and choose the colour. Here's a black Honda MBX80. Trying to do all the colours. I've done a red one. Got an immaculate red one at home in the garage. That uh, I've done and just don't use. I've got another 20, 30 bikes at home. It's all good. So I'll get around to restoring that. On the C50L automatic. Uh, an oldie bike. Good back end. Um, purchased, purchased this very, very cheap. To... Um, just to relive, I had one of these when I was younger, it had no back end and used to thrash it up and down the woods but it didn't last, it, it, the cam chain snapped and that was that. Behind is a very tidy black VT250, I've had that for quite a while on an A plate, it's got some stupid exhausts on but I'm planning to put it back to original but it's all there, it's in nice condition. This is the uh, the second MVX 250 Honda V3, very rare. This one's running nicely. Done the front brake. Got all the electrics sorted. Unfortunately, the tank's rotted through, which the owner told me the tank was fine. It was all good, but in fact, when I took the tank off, it was all rotten underneath. And these tanks are no longer available. And you can't get any, so I'm having it plated and patched, and it's going to look friggin' terrible. Oh. Now that's just spoiled the whole collection. Chinese 125. That isn't mine. I'm going to do it up and get rid of it. So VT250 for spares. I use a Yamaha Townmate 80. Cheap and cheerful. You tidy it up. Stick it on the road. Dalem NS125. Uh, that was my bike and still registered to me, but probably six years ago I knackered the engine, which is on the floor. Purchased another engine off eBay. I'm going to try and get it all back together. It's my mate's attempt at a Honda NS125. X registered, all original. 
Suzuki FZ50 because the, uh, the dinner ladies at my school used to riff about on FZ so I'm going to have an FZ50 very tidy unrestored standard one of two Honda you know, Suzuki CS125 roadies done a lot of these bikes I'm kind of specialise in them which is a bit weird I had three scrap bikes all together I bought off eBay so I went about and made two roadworthy and then the other one I got rid of um, but I decided to do kind of a, an alternate scheme with the panels so they're comedian but they're pairs I don't know why it's just a bit different but they're both good runners and but I don't know what I'm going to do with them that's a ludic so I'm going to get shot off there's a B registered Honda MBX80 water cooled 6 speed uh, paid a lot of money for that it's a nice bike a few things to do like a fit an original uh, number plate no my guard at the back because it's been chopped nasty 80s modification got an A registered Suzuki CS80 roadie uh, rough and ready um, just ready for spares but it's all there runs but it's a bit scrappy as part of my collection I wanted a speed fight so there's my speed fight it's a 2001 speed fight 100 um, that's as good as it gets done a lot of work source panels it's all there very tidy it's got Ginelli sports exhaust so, a nice bike could have a speed bike it's a C registered Honda MBX 125F in the black and red colour scheme there aren't that many of these still left about bought this many years ago and I still haven't got around to doing it it's got a suspect head gasket starts to blow water out too much pressure but it's all there and uh, I'll enjoy getting around to doing that at some point there's a 1985 Honda MBX 125F in the red blue white that's nice lovely bike got a Micron sports exhaust it's a bit louder slightly different power band it's nice I've got two bikes two of these I've got this one which is the 12 brake horsepower then at home I've got the full power import from Switzerland it's nice it's a good looking bike we don't build them like this anymore it's, uh, it's a 1985 Honda MBX50 I've just really bought for spares well used, abused, a good engine. A bit rough, but uh, what do you expect for a bike that's you know, 26 years old or so on? The little Suzuki CS80. In uh, it's a roadie fit, roadie 80. In white with a Herbie colour scheme. I've stripped that down, and I have restored that auto choke it's not very nice I should have put a manual choke on but you know, uh, I think they kind of half base this bike on females and auto chokes are obviously easy this is one of my nicest bikes it's a Suzuki CS80 roadie uh, I've fully restored this stripped it down stripped all the old paint off repainted all parts sprayed the bike up in Ferrari Rosso red and two pack. Hate to think what my lungs are like after doing all these bikes. I probably haven't got long left on this earth. But at least I did a, a red CS80. And obviously we've got the white roadie 50 and the blue roadie 50. Tied in little bikes. And yeah, that is just part of my collection. I've got another 40, 50 bikes at home in the garages. I'll keep these bikes alive.